feeling relaxed. Come in. Hello, sir. Hi, Samir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Sir, I am here to inform you that tomorrow you have to take class. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye, sir. Bye. Early in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Meet you in the next scene. Good morning, sir. Hi, good morning, Jessica. Did you manage all arrangements for today's online class? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Thanks, sir. Hello, students. I'm Lucky. I'm a 3D avatar of Satvir, sir. Now let's start today's online class. Today we will do the exercise work of Chapter 1. Let's start with Worksheet 1. Fill in the blanks. 1. The fifth generation computers will use the artificial intelligence technology. 2. The computers of the second generation were based on transistor technology. 3. The supercomputers are used for calculation intensive tasks such as weather forecasting, climate research and so on. 4. These days, the mid-range servers are referred to as the mini-computers. 5. A desktop computer is a type of microcomputer. 6. A program is a set of instructions written in a programming language. Yes Lizzie tell me, what happened? Yes sir, Studi and Madhav wants to join live class. Ok connect them. Ok sir connection established. Hello sir. Hi sir. Hi Studi and Madhav, now let's start worksheet 2. Thanks sir. Thank you sir. Worksheet 2, tick the correct choice. 1. Which computer generation was based on the vacuum tubes technology? Answer is first generation. 2. Which generation of computers was based on the integrated circuits technology? Answer is third generation. 3. Which of these is not a high level language? Answer is assembly language. 4. Which is the fastest and most powerful computer? Answer is supercomputers. 5. Which of these converts a high-level language program into the machine code? Answer is compiler. <laughs> Thanks Studi and Madhav for joining today's online class. Now, let's move to worksheet 3, true or false statements. 1. Mainframe computers are more powerful than the mini computers. This statement is false. 2. Supercomputers work on artificial intelligence. This statement is true. 3. A software is a collection of programs to perform a specific task. This statement is true. 4. John von Neumann is called the first programmer of the world. This statement is false. Five. The assembler converts high-level language program into the machine language. This statement is false. 6. A laptop computer is a type of microcomputers. This statement is true. Yes Lizzie, tell me. Sir, Tanu and Arun wants to join the class. Okay connect them. Hello sir. Hi sir. Hello Arun and Tanu, let's start with worksheet 4. Answer is a word or sentence. 1. Who is known as the first programmer of the world? Answer is Augustine Lovelace. 2. What technology was used by first generation computers? Answer is vacuum tubes. 3. Name a software that is needed to convert a high level language program into the machine code. Answer is compiler. 4. What is an assembler? It translates mnemonics code into the machine language to get execute computer programs. 5. Which is more powerful, micro or mainframe computer? Answer is mainframe computer. 6. 
What is a software? A software is a collection of programs to perform a specific task. Now, let's start Worksheet 5. 1. Stay 2 Important Feature of First Generation Computers 1. Big in size 2. Generated a lot of heat 2. Distinguish between mainframe and microcomputers Microcomputers are small computer that have microprocessor as their CPU, but mainframe are huge in size and can occupy a whole room. 3. What are mnemonics in the assembly language? Mnemonics are like two or three letter abbreviations. 4. What is the difference between a compiler and interpreter? Compiler converts high level language into machine language at once, while interpreter do the same, but execute the codes line by line. 5. State the contribution of John Backus in the development of software. John W. Backus and his team created first two high-level language called Fertlin. 5. OK students, thanks for joining today's online class. Sadvir Sir creates another animation video very soon. Thanks for joining. Bye.